Let me lower the exposure even more. Okay, quality is like freakishly good now. Webcams. Lately, tech companies have been really pushing the limits when it comes to image quality for a webcam. I've seen some footage that were basically indistinguishable from a DSLR with a kit lens. So that's when Pixio sent me an email and they told me, hey, we're in the webcam business now. Pixio is that company that makes gaming monitors, very, very affordable gaming monitors with amazing specs. In fact, my vertical monitor right here is a Pixio. Just great stuff, super affordable. So you should know this video is not sponsored, but they did send me this for free and I'm excited to test it out. It's ASMR time. Okay, I can already say I like the box. <laughs> Check this out. You get it? It's a cube because stream cube. <laughs> I really like this box design. So for the specs, here's what we have. 1440p at 30 FPS. 1080p at 60 FPS. It is a fixed focus. Aperture is f2.3. USB type C 3.1 or higher. And there's built in microphone, but we don't care about built in microphone and webcams. I mean, I mean we don't care because we're gamers. All right. My, my audience, you're, you're mostly content creators and live streamers. And at the bottom, you get more technical specifications. You can see that USB 3.0, you get YUY2 uncompressed video, but USB 2.0 is H.264 compressed. I like when I get the choice. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't have a USB 3.0 port and I just need my tech to work. Witness. That is beautiful. There's a lens cover in here. And when we remove this, we are left with the user manual and the cable. Cable is a USB-C to USB-C. We do get a USB-C adapter with it. And finally, we have the mounting system. Now, this one is kind of familiar, kind of. We have the bottom part that goes on your screen. Okay, little rubbery material here, so it's not gonna slip, but it also has <laughs> the extra tilt. If you wanna do things like top down, that's really cool. Now the top part here seems to be separate and I don't know what that's about. Oh, because you can tilt it. 90 degrees on each side. So that's straight on. You tilt here, back to straight and tilt here. Really versatile. <laughs> One thing that I immediately notice is that it doesn't have the quarter inch thread at the bottom. It has the screw here, meaning that the webcam itself accepts the thread here, but you can't put the webcam plus this on a tripod, for example. That's kind of a shame. That would be cool if I could, you know, still use all of this foldable thing. Like if I would screw it like this, I would still be able to do this while on a tripod. I guess that wouldn't be as stable as if you just put it on a normal tripod head. So let's look at the camera. Really like the design. It is kind of chunky, <laughs> but also there's a CMOS uh, sensor in there and it just looks good. There is a little bit of weight to it. You can definitely feel it. At the back here, we're gonna see that there are some vents. So I'm guessing there's probably a cooling system in there. We can see the USB-C port. All right, I keep touching the lens. So let me put the lens cover on it. It's not screwable, so it's super easy to just plop in there. So something particular with this webcam is that it has a button at the top and they say that it's customizable. I'm guessing through their own software. So we will see that a little bit later. And of course the bottom, we're gonna see the quarter inch thread with a little bit of padding, which is cool. And this is what we're working with. Time to plug it in. I'd like to test it, just plug and play to see if OBS is gonna be able to recognize it and if I can use it without using their software. And then of course, we'll install the software and test it. So everything that's screen capture, 1080p, and then everything that is just raw camera, that's gonna be 1440p. So let's add a video capture device, call it Pixio, and let's see if we find it. Oh, it's right there, Pixio Stream Cube. All right. Now we can already see that the format is, it doesn't seem to be right, but the, the quality is kind of impressive. <laughs> All right. So for resolution, FPS type, to make sure that I have the highest, I'm gonna go to custom and then I'm gonna have to choose. And you can see I have the ability to go with 1080p. Nice, a little sharp actually. I don't know if out of the box, if I click highest FPS, it's if it's gonna be 60. Oh yeah, that's 60. I think that's 60, <laughs> that looks like 60. But if we go 1440p, 
we know that we are at 30 fps right now first impressions there is a lot of grain that is kind of static um, quality is pretty impressive like for a webcam not gonna lie pretty impressive especially for a webcam that doesn't have autofocus they claim that everything will be in focus kind of like another webcam that you might have heard of and um this seems to be the case if i'm showing something from here for example and i want to show something oh there is an led actually now that it's on and i want to show something here too close it's not going to be that visible so that claim is not perfect but from here you can tell the sharpness drastically changes I'm not sure if 1080p would have the same effect, so let me test that. Yeah, 1080p doesn't seem to have that overly sharp grain effect. Never mind, it does, but just way less. Gives you a little smoother look, actually. This is plug and play, by the way. I haven't touched any setting yet, okay? I can tell that the white balance is kind of off. What do you think of the quality plug and play? This is not bad. I only have white lights. I am going to switch it back to 1440p since this video is going to be in 1440p. Okay, and of course it's gigantic. So I don't know if that grain thing is happening because my monitor is so small and it's basically a 1080p monitor with a 1440p canvas. So the pixels seem super dense. Yeah, that shoe makes it super easy to place. Now let's test something real quick. I want to see if I go to configure video, if I can get something out of it. If I turn off white balance, Okay, got a better, more accurate white balance right off the bat. I like to bump up the saturation a little bit, make it more vibrant. Camera control. So we have automatic exposure. You can see it was bright, goes back. If I turn that off, how will it react? Okay, not bad. Let's lower that. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is pretty good quality. I don't want to name any names, but I know some popular webcams that if you do this, it will basically break the whole thing. You will lose a lot of quality. Uh, the sensor, uh, the ISO will shoot up, but um, this is handling it pretty well considering. Not bad. And now we don't have auto exposure, so the exposure is not going to change, which is something that I prefer, especially if I have like moving lights and things like that behind me. Let's put it full screen. Not bad. I can still feel that it's a webcam, but the quality is still there, especially for it's about $100. Now let's check out their software. This is their landing page for this product. It's pretty cool. Some of the text is a little embellishing, like advanced always focus is just a prime lens <laughs> or maybe i'm wrong perfect for business meetings i i will agree i will absolutely agree all right so here's the software pixio portal so it's available for windows and mac we're gonna go with windows and download there it is let's install it oh and i wanted to quickly show you the little led that's kind of a cool design new firmware let's update and there it is we have the preview okay cool so this software looks like just a capture software i thought this would be something like more options to actually control the webcam but okay so if you want to record if you want to take screenshots you can do all of that right here i have a little magic one here i'm gonna click this is where we have access to more stuff so we have brightness contrast saturation sharpness white balance exposure now the exposure we have way more control over it which is Kind of cool, but I kind of expected more for the rest because this is kind of like the default stuff that we had in OBS. That being said, though, if we scroll down, we're going to see advanced settings and we can turn that on and we just get a flip source. <laughs> That's the advanced settings. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> All right. White balance. We can set it to auto or custom. Set to custom. So it only changes when you release it. Click. See, it's not changing. And then I release it. There we go. Then exposure, you can also set it to custom, AKA manual, and then you can really play with the increments or just drag release. I like it. The quality is consistent when you have manual exposure, which is which a lot of webcams have this weird thing going on. I never understood why, but uh, personally, I would probably with the contrast a little bit. Yeah, lower the contrast so I can get a little bit more colors, brightness. I think that's a pretty, <laughs> that's a pretty decent look. I, I kind of like it. I like the way the, the, the lens flare that we're getting from the sun right now. Really not bad. It's handling the colors really well. When you look at all of that is like nothing is really, really burnt out. And this is like the sun directly coming from my windows hitting those walls we're not having this huge contrast of course i lowered the contrast but still <laughs> if i click default not bad really really not bad there's something called scene effects oh we can add filters directly oh no those are presets hey yo 
Okay. I like that. Oh, we got the twilight. Honestly, everything's super simple so far. I haven't found anything that is necessarily very, very advanced. You can add a border. I beg your pardon. Well, there you have it. Camera overlay directly in your webcam software. Right, let me keep it on sunny because that's my favorite. Can I save those settings? Let's check out more options. So this is the whole recording stuff. I don't necessarily want to go through it, but there is um, quite a lot of options. Apparently this opens up where your folder is. That's pretty cool. And let's go to settings. We have light mode. Oof. Dark mode. Pretty cool. Auto updates. Auto updates. And that's it pretty much it okay very 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 simple software i'd say and that's not necessarily a bad thing can i change the output folder i don't i don't think so i don't i don't think so <laughs> so this is where you go for your camera scene at the bottom here there's a layout thing so if you want to record gameplay directly without using OBS, then you can do that. Not bad. Speaking of OBS, I want to bring OBS in because while this is running, I want to know how it handles. So Pixio Stream Cube, you can see that this is frozen. I'll deactivate this. And I expect it to have like a virtual camera, which I don't really see right now. Ooh, interesting. Now, a lot of webcams are like that, so no no need to be alarmed we just need to find a way to turn off the preview while still having the software running oh i ignore this zoom thing because i thought this was a mistake i thought the preview was supposed to be in there but <laughs> no it's supposed to look like that oh there you go <laughs> why do i have a larger fov now was it always like that this seems wider <laughs> question is can I still modify the webcam while it's in OBS running? Because I have to select it as a source. Can I select it as a source while it's currently running in OBS? Yes, but it's not showing as a preview. Can I still modify it? I don't have any of the settings. All right, but, <laughs> but at least we can see that our filter, our preset is on right now. In my opinion, this is probably an oversight. Maybe, you know, they created their own broadcasting software. Well, it's not really broadcasting, recording software. They didn't really, really think about the broadcasting software. So in my opinion, this is a kind of a big oversight. It means that currently you cannot modify your settings in the software while you have it open in OBS. You would have to deactivate it in OBS, activate it in the software, modify it, and then go back. It's not impossible to use. I would say the workflow would be before every stream, open up the software, make sure your, your webcam looks good, close the software, or just select something else, and then launch OBS and bring in the webcam. I'm slightly disappointed. It does not make the webcam unusable by any means, but I know that for my specific audience, for you guys that are mostly live streamers, this makes it kind of inconvenient. But of course, Pixio is gonna watch this, which means that there will most likely be any improvement. If there is like a major update or something like that, I will do my best to keep you guys updated. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you have the webcam basically turned on in OBS. You can see that I have it selected here, but it's not showing up. If I go to the settings, then I lose all of the settings that I had before. So brightness, contrast, all of that. Kind of disappointed in that part. Other than that, when it comes to the look, it looks like a webcam, but it looks pretty sharp and it's cool that it does 1440p. If you're already established as a live streamer, for example, and you already have your camera, I think this would make a great second webcam. I cannot recommend this as a beginner webcam for like a first time content creator um, because of that oversight. But if they work on the software and they manage to make it seamless with OBS and allow us to save presets, then I would be able to recommend it as a first webcam. Overall, I would say pretty decent hardware. I just wish that we had more when it comes to the software. Anyways, thank you so much, Pixio, for sending me this webcam. I'm going to show you a couple of looks by playing around with the light to see how it handles it. And, um, and that will be it for me. Go follow me on Twitch. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out. Oh, OK. I kind of like that. That looks that looks pretty good. <laughs> I have like a front light and then I have an Elgato, a diffused Elgato key light. Looks pretty good. We can see the background is slightly out of focus. Like you can see the difference between focus in here and also, wait, why is this more in focus? Trying to understand the focus bracket. So out of focus, in 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 focus. So if you're showcasing stuff, it doesn't have to be too close. Keep it there. Look how sharp that is. Actually, that's sharper. There you can see all my pores. Ooh. Okay. All right. Listen, listen. Quality is way better than I thought. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, actually giving decent lighting 
is the secret. Yeah, this for a live stream, totally, totally feasible, totally usable. Nothing to say, really. It's handling the colors like a champ. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised now. <laughs> now let me show you my $800 camera. Let me lower the exposure even more. Okay, quality is like freakishly good now. Okay, final statement. If you are a live streamer and you want to buy this as your first webcam, just make sure you have good lighting, powerful lighting at least, and you can have this quality. This is this is wild. This is totally acceptable. Even for a even for a YouTube video, dare I say, even for YouTube videos, I would say this is decent quality for the price. This is like a hundred bucks. Anyways, I should have opened like that. Alexa, turn on shelves. Okay. Pre like not bad. Really, really not bad. 800 bucks, 100 bucks. <laughs> Wild.